This video is how to use a broken shell extractor. Um, and in the video, I continuously refer to it as a stuck case extractor, and that is a whole different tool. Um, and I did not want to go back and reshoot it, but I apologize ahead of time. I consistently use the wrong terminology. It is a broken shell extractor, not a stuck case extractor. But the information, in the, other than the wrong terminology, the information in the video is good. And like I said, I just didn't want to go shoot it again. Um, Hope you can put up with it. Enjoy the video and like and subscribe if it's a good one. This is what's called a broken case extractor. Um, and I'm gonna show you how, to, how to use it. Every now and then, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get case head separation, where the body of the uh, case gets stuck in the chamber, and as you go to extract, that bolt comes back, and this case separates. Um, and once you have this smooth body of a uh, of, of, of the case stuck in a chamber, it's very, very difficult to get it out. And that's how you get the stuck case extractor to come in and pull it out. Um, let's go take a look and see how it's done. Take a look at how this works. So we've got our we've got our separated case here, and our sh shell extractor. You can see how it this expands and contracts. Well, it's going to go into up into that case, contracted, and as we pull down on this, as that that extractor and the rifle, the bolt pulls this down, it expands. It's going to expand this broke stuck case extractor. And that's going to grip. This sharp edge here is going to grip inside that neck or maybe up on the rim of the, uh, of the, uh, of the shell itself. But as, as that extractor of the bolt pulls this back, it's going to expand inside there. And that's just going to grip that shell and pull that stuck case out of the chamber. So this thing is kind of nifty. It's actually three different parts. And you can see how that, how that works. Just that, that angle there is going to expand that that middle piece. There we go, and it's going to grip and pull that out. When I'm done with this one, I just cut the end off. But say you're shooting reloaded rounds, um, and after several reloads, you will get you know, some case stretching, and that's the that's when you're going to see that case head separation most likely. Um, you don't usually see it a lot with once fired brass, but if you do, now you know how to take it all apart. Um, but if this was stuck in the chamber, you can see there's nothing really to grab onto, so you would need your stuck case, your stuck uh, case extractor. Um, and these, they don't, you don't use them very often, but when you do need one, man, they're handy. Um, it's like nothing else. Um, and these are caliber specific. Uh, this one's just for a 30 odd six. Um, obviously it'd be too big for something like your 5.56. So you'd want to have one for every caliber you're shooting, just in case you do get a case stuck in the chamber. Um, like I said, it's not happening very often, but when it does happen, you just, it's, there's like nothing else you can use. Um, they do, they do come in handy. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's guys who use like, they'll, they'll do Sarasafe or they'll pour that in there. Or they'll try to get a cleaning rod and get the edge of the, kind of get the edge of the case, try to tap it out. But if you've got a complete, complete separation, there's really nothing to grab onto. That's, that's why you need this little deal. But let's go, let's go, uh, we're going to, we're going to stick a case in the chamber, um, inorganically. How's that? We're not going to, this isn't natural. I'm going to actually shove this in the chamber and get it stuck and we'll get it out. All right. So here we are. We have our broken case stuck in the chamber. There's nothing to grab onto. If we look at that, there's no, there's no rim there's nothing to grab onto we can't get that case out of there all right so what do we do we get our broken case extractor okay we can see our separated case is stuck in the chamber so we're going to take our broken case extractor we're going to insert that in there all right we're going to insert that into the that broken case now we're going to close the bolt let that bolt grab that broken case extractor There, now we've got it with our extractor. Now just pull the bolt handle back. 
and just that little bit of force was enough to extract and there we go it dropped down to the floor but now our broken case extractor has extracted our separated case there we go and you see it didn't and we didn't need to get fully beyond the case length it would that expansion is enough to grip even the inside of that case neck and it was still enough to pull that out so now we've got our broken case out we can get back to the range and keep on shooting All right, let's try this on our 1903 Springfield so we've got our separated case that was stuck in the chamber way up in there there's no way I could get in there and reach it and you know I can't get a pliers on it I can't push it and if it was stuck I couldn't shove a cleaning rod through there let's close our stuck bolt our stuck uh, case extractor in there and see if we can get it back out we'll close the bolt on there We got it. Now I'm just going to pull it back. <laughs> Ejected that thing right across the room. All right. So I had to get on my hands and knees and crawl around underneath the other bench. But I did find it. Um, just got to be ready when you when you use this. It's going to kick that thing out. You know, your ejector is going to shoot that thing across the room. Uh, I should have had the rifle facing the other way and had it hit the wall. Um, you know, always learning. But now we can just take this apart. We could take this, we can get our shell extractor back. There we go, there we go. Now there's our stuck case. We put our extractor back together and ready to use it again. But <laughs> there you go, always, always, a, always a fun experience.